Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it, this is highly controversial right now. Yeah, I, I, w- I would be very cautious here, Tony. Yeah, you would be. These folks would be at great political liability. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to this hearing of the City Council's Health Committee. I am Mark Levine, Chair of the Committee. Pleased that we are joined by fellow committee members, Councilmember Inez Barron, who is our bill sponsor, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Bob Holden, and Councilmember Andy Cohen. Today we are considering intro number five. That is not a typo. <laughs> intro five, because Councilmember Barron is so speedy, or perhaps her legislative director in the Go Washington, and submitted this at 12.01 a.m. on January 1st, uh, 2018. Um, our topic today, however, is serious. This uh, bill is part of our continuing fight against uh, obesity and diabetes, um, fights that we have unfortunately stalled in of late. Uh, more than half of adults are overweight or obese in New York City, and nearly half of elementary and preschool age children also suffer from obesity or are overweight. And we have to do more and we have to give people information so that they can manage their diet effectively. And today's bill um, will do just that by requiring signage in restaurants to inform people of the health impact of sugar and carbs. And um, Unless one of my coll- colleagues is in an enormous hurry, I'm going to cue our bill sponsor, Councilmember Barron, uh, for her statement. Please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you to the committee members. This is a very important bill, and the idea for this bill came from my legislative director, who has a great interest and concern about not just diabetes, but pre-diabetes, and the fact that so many uh, of our people who are in that state actually don't even know. So what we want to do is to let people know they may have forgotten in their physiology that carbs turn to sugar at that digestive process, and they may not be associating what they're eating as carbohydrates as, in fact, increasing the sugar intake and the added sugar that exists in so many products. So what this bill calls for is information that restaurant keepers will be required to post so that people will be aware that excessive carbs and sugars uh, can be contrary to good health outcomes and have them aware that the administration uh, was involved in having us be uh, mindful that we don't want to bombard the uh, patrons with a lot of science, but this is an important issue. The Department of Education will design the content of the poster, and restaurant keepers will be advised of this when they are visited, uh, and they will be told that this is a requirement, and if they don't have it at the time that the first visit, they will be allowed a year to be able to implement it without any type of penalty. So we're very mindful of that as well. So I want to thank my colleagues for supporting this bill, and thank you for bringing it to the committee for a vote. Thank you, Council Member Barron. And I'm now going to ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, to call the roll. Introduction 5B, Chair Levine. Vote aye. Barron. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Holden. Aye. Powers. Vote aye. Congratulations to the sponsor. Thank you. My vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention item has been adopted by the committee. If it's okay, Mr. Clerk, we're going to leave it open for a few minutes. We're expecting Councilmember Eugene to join us momentarily. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. There's good food next door. Hope there's a warning sign about cars.